So friendly reminder that when we're working with parabolas, if my A value is less than zero, so it's negative, my parabola's contact is concave down, concave, concave down, and if my A is positive, then my vertex is my minimum because my graph is concave up. We're going to use this fact to solve some word problems. So David has 400 yards of fencing and which is, wishes to enclose a rectangular area. Well, the perimeter for a rectangular area is 2 times the width plus 2 times the length. And I know that perimeter is 400. Area is width times length. So I'm going to express the area of the rectangle as a function of w with the width of the rectangle. That means I need to express a of w, so that's my area, in terms of w is w times l. So I'm going to have to solve this perimeter equation for l, so I can substitute it back in. So I've got 400 minus 2w equals 2l. I divide both sides by 2. That gives me 200 minus w equals l. So a of w is w times 200 minus w. So a of w is 200w minus w squared. And we'll rewrite that as negative w squared plus 200w. So this is a parabola. Its graph is a parabola that's concave down. So its vertex is going to be the maximum. So if we want to find for what value of w is area the largest, we need to find our vertex. So h equals negative b over 2a. Negative b in this case is negative 200 over 2 times negative 1. That's going to be 100. So if I want to find the area, I'm going to have to find the y value, a of w, right, our area at 100. So a of 100 equals negative 100 squared plus 200 times 100. That gives me 10,000, negative 10,000 plus 20,000. So our maximum area would be 10,000. Now, that was pretty quick. Let's go through another example. A farmer with 2,000 meters of fencing wants to enclose a rectangular plot that borders on a highway. So I don't have to put any fence there because there's little cars driving by. I am not an artist. What is the largest area that can be enclosed? So here I know my perimeter is 2,000. I've got length in 2w is my uh, perimeter. And area is still width times length. So if I write this in terms of w, I need to solve this for uh, l. So I'm going to subtract 2w from both sides. So I have 2,000 equals minus 2w equals l. So a of w equals w times 2,000 minus 2w. So a w equals 2,000 w minus 2w squared. And we're going to rewrite that. So I've got my leading term, my leading degree term first. I can now go ahead and note that if I find um, h, that's going to be the value for w that maximize my area. But I need to solve my k, which is a of w, in order to determine the area. So h equals negative b over 2a, which is negative 2,000 over negative 2 times 2. That's going to give me a positive 500. Then I take a of 500, that's negative 2 times 500 squared, 
plus 2,000 times 500. That gives me negative 500,000 plus 1 million. So I get an area of 500,000 square feet. Don't forget your units. I know I didn't put my units in the last example, but don't forget your units. 